Hi and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial what we're going to do is trace around an image using the pencil. Um, so what we need to do first is go to file and place and select the image. And there we go. Right now what you have to do is drag out here um, your image for the size that you want it and then we're just going to position it in the center. Okay so I'm happy with that. And um, we go to the layers now and what we're going to do is lock this off. And um, the reason being is that it won't affect them, this background layer. So we just click on the new layer. And then we're going to go to the pen tool. So we can trace around it. Click the pen tool. And we can zoom in a little bit. So if you do command and plus, that will zoom in. So you click once and then you just keep clicking around. The good thing about the pen tool is that you can readjust um, each point that you make using the direct select tool which is um, the second from the top in your tool list. There. Um, whenever you click to draw around something if you click and hold you can bend the line um, this then positions better around your image. So I'm just going to carry on just around here a little bit more but for the joy of using uh, Premiere I'm going to speed it up in a moment and get rid of you know, this boring slowly drawing around. So, and one other thing before that though you can see that we've got a white um, fill there. What we can do if you click on the NA option there at the bottom it gets rid of that. While this just speeds around, um, another good tip with the pen tool if you click on the point twice what it does is it gets rid of the anchor point. This then helps you get a better position if you if you need a right angle or something like that because what will happen if you click once and you've got a, a slight anchor going out and you need a very very close angle when you click what it'll do is it will curve around and sometimes you don't want that so just bear that in mind what you'll notice is like a little upside down V um, to indicate that you can chop the anchor points there. So once you get all the way around you click on the first point this then creates a whole path all the way around and you can click the swap and fill this fills in the image and creates a silhouette if you click on the background layer to turn it off um, you can just see it on its own and if you use a selection tool which is the top tool there um, you can then click and move the image using the transform options that are provided you can then copy and paste um, this image which is command C command V move that round and then what we can do is we can change the colour by double clicking on the fill so I'm just going to do a quick one there and we can also then if we paste again we can then just swap it back and you can get the outline using the stroke there. if you want to change the stroke fill at the top there you can so I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller just going to add 0.5 to that and that's the tutorial done um, hopefully you'll have learned a little bit there uh, thank you for tuning in. Cheers. Good night.